Kirchhoff's voltage law. When we look at Kirchhoff's voltage law, what we're looking at is the voltage, the polarity of the voltage, and the net sum of that voltage. Anytime we can go around a complete pathway, a complete loop, the net voltage should always equal and add up. If I start with 28 volts, I have to consume all 28 volts in order for that current to flow in the circuit to make it work. And we're going to see that right now with this circuit. Let's take a look at this. Is this 12 ohms going to be more plus on this side, more minus on that side? Is it going to be more minus that side, more plus that side? Because this is more positive here, this will tend to be more positive. Coming out will be more negative, so current is going to enter in this way from electron flow, flow through that way and come into the positive side of that power source. If we do conventional current flow, we're going to say the current leaves there and it flows plus to minus, plus to minus, back and into there. And so your multimeter has the plus and minus. So if I do that, what that's telling me is this is the more positive polarity and the more negative polarity. That's all this is doing. So Kirchhoff's law simply states that you go around a complete path load source system and you put more pluses and minuses whichever end is closer. So that's more minus, that will be more minus, that side will be more minus. That means this side would be more plus, this side would be more plus, and this side would be more plus because they're closer physically to the plus side. If I were to multi-sim this circuit and I look at what I've got, I have 24 volts there, I should have 4 volts here, and then I should be able to see 4 volts on this side. So that gives me an even and easy way of seeing how this circuit works. Do I have a complete pathway? Now let's take a look at these numbers here and see if this makes more sense to us. I'm going to leave these little multimeters up and running here. Electricity leaves the minus. It comes into a minus 4. All right, so I have a minus 4. It comes up to here, and let's say we go back into here. We're coming into the minus side of that 24 volts. So a minus 4 plus a minus 24 is a minus 28. It comes into a positive 28. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the net voltage of any complete path from start to finish back to that power source will yield zero. Let's go around this way. Let's say we start right here. I come into a minus 28, I come into a positive 24, I come into a positive 4, and I come back all the way around and I equal zero. So minus 28 plus 24 plus 4 equals zero. That does indeed work. Kirchhoff's law. All it says is the net has to equal. If you can find a way to make more than 28 volts in this circuit, you come and see me and we're going to become billionaires. Until that point, if you start with 28, you go around these loops, any which loop you choose, and the net voltage should always equal zero. That is all that Kirchhoff's Law is saying. Don't get any more hung up to it. Pluses are closer, minuses are further away from it. Current goes from minus to plus, and a electron flow plus to minus is the association with conventional flow. That's it. That's all we need to do. This is a four-minute video, and we are done.